Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to use the ratio test to test this series out to see if it converges or not. The series as n goes from 1 to infinity and factorial over n to the n. This is a classic example to use the ratio test because we see the factorial and also the n in the exponent, right? So that's the good indicator for that. Okay, so here we go. What we do is we are going to check. We have to take the limit. So we just say as n goes to infinity. And right here we have to do absolute value of a n plus 1 over a n by the same as multiplied by 1 over a n. Okay, so as you can see, we will have the absolute value. a n plus 1 is just going to be, well, n plus 1, and then we factorial that over n plus 1, and then raised to the n plus 1 power, right? And then we multiply by 1 over a n, which is just a reciprocal of the original. That's going to be n to the n over n factorial, right? So that's good. Now, as you can see, we can break down the bigger factorial and also the bigger exponent. For the bigger factorial, n plus 1 factorial, we get what? Yes, it's just n plus 1 times n, and then factorial that, and the n factorials cancel. Good. On the bottom, we can use the rule of exponent, and we can get n plus 1 to the nth power times n plus 1 to the first power. And this and that can be canceled. It. Very nice. Everything is positive, so we don't need the absolute value anymore. This is n to the n, and this is n plus 1 to the nth power. So we can come here and say we have parentheses n over n plus 1 and put the exponent right here. Well, you are going to do the following. Do the reciprocal of the inside becomes n plus 1 over n. And then remember to negate the exponent, so we have negative n. And this way we can write this as 1 plus 1 over n raised to the negative n. Because this way we can use the fact. And you can see that a is 1 and b is equal to negative 1. So all in all, the limit becomes e to the negative 1. Okay, I run out of space. I know, because I can feel it. I cannot see, but yeah. Anyway though, e to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over e, which is well, less than 1. And this is the good idea. right? This is the good news, because we can come back here somewhere and say that this guy converges by the ratio test. Not the ratio, okay? The ratio test. And uh, for the people who would like to know how we get a limit for that, I will put this down right here for you guys. This is called the uh, fact, which is saying if you have the limit as n goes to infinity, 1 plus a over n raised to the bn power, this right here will give you e to the a b power, and that's exactly what I did right here. All right, so that's it. <sighs> oh my god! Oh my god! Except for my handwriting, but like, oh my god! Hey, what happened to my n factorial? Oh, I forgot to cancel this also. Maybe let me do that right here. This and that. Hey, people, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm supposed to cancel this with that, right? So this right here stays, okay? So that's why uh, you have the n to the n over n plus 1 to the nth power right here, okay? And then that's how we get this guy right here. And then so on, so on.